Hello everyone, this is Dylan with Frontier Precision, and today I'm out uh, using the new version of Trimble Access, version 2022.00, and I have some cool things to show you. Um, so right now we're going to show you how to use the uh, road stakeout routine, uh, as some changes have, changes have taken place there in uh, the for road stakeout um, of alignments or corridors, whatever you might have. Um, so what I'm going to show you is involving just some of the UI changes of that. So let's uh, let's go into roads. We have a survey started and we'll go ahead and select the road that we want to stake out. Now you can still do that through the menu, stake out, stake out roads and pick the, the file from there. Um, I'm going to escape out of that and just uh, show you how to do that straight from the map screen instead. So I have a road file. Uh, loaded. This is an RXL. Um, just making sure that we toggle that on here in our layer manager. And now I can select that road. You can see I have a, a, a surface essentially uh, applied to this road. Um, this is made up of an RXL with templates. And so I have templates that define uh, my edge of concrete, my curb, and sidewalk. And just a simple example here for you guys to get the point across. And so some of the, the UI changes here in this new version of Access and going forward, um, when you want to stake out a road corridor or an alignment with the roads module, you'll just go ahead and select it from the map like I've done and hit the stake out button in the lower right hand corner. What pops up is your antenna information and station interval. So just double checking those um, are set to the uh, settings you'd like and then we'll hit next. Okay, so we have our map on the left, our graphical display. Uh, this can be, uh, you know, um, using 3D, using the th uh, 3D rotate tool to look at that in 3D. I'm gonna set it back to plan view, give you a nice top-down overview of my road. And you see the 25 foot station interval with the templates applied to it, giving us our nodes, uh, back of curb, low line, edge of concrete, sidewalk, etc. So um, from the right hand side we have our form and this is going to be very similar looking to the traditional menu selection format that we've been used to in the past. So first things first we need to pick our stake method. So this could be to the road, as you can see that's very simple. Our only other option there is the vertical construction offset and then we can hit start and it will give us our position relative to the road. We get our live station, horizontal offset, cut, fill, things like that. Let's go ahead and hit escape. Our next option here is to the string. So now we can cycle through the list here just by hitting the up down arrows on our keypad or maybe the, the tab, uh, the tab buttons on the keypad. Um, and we can just kind of roll through our settings doing that. So as far as the string goes, that's going to be our string names. Uh, so if I hit the right arrow button, it'll pull up a list of all my strings that have been uh, designed into this uh, in, or added into the template. And so I could pick a string here, such as back of curve on the left, and you see it's highlighted graphically there for me in the map. It auto populates the offset and I can now go to my horizontal construction offset or vertical construction offset and enter those in if necessary, such as a three foot horizontal construction offset out. And I will now hit the start button and it will proceed to take me to that string plus the horizontal construction offset. And there I am. Okay, I can choose to measure and store those Aztec uh, deltas as necessary. Let's back up, hitting escape. You also see a cross slope option down at the bottom, so we can enter in a, um, a cross slope offset. So let's just say we have this cross slope here selected, and we want to offset that cross slope by any uh, value, maybe like, um, let's say a foot up we can go ahead and now hit accept and stake to that cross slope, which is uh, essentially matching the grade of our center line to the edge of concrete there on the left. Um, so just allowing us to utilize something like that to stake 
let's back out and um, start that up again. Okay, so that was to the string. Let's let's check out the next option, which is station on string. So our our um, traditional station and offset, um, as of the previous version, has uh, changed to station on string terminology, uh, but it's it's essentially station and offset. So um, first things first, we pick a string or we type in an offset here. So we can hit the right arrow for string, pick a defined string in our road corridor, or we can tab down to offset and type in any offset that we wish to stake to. That then presents us um, a field for our station. Um, so maybe we want to stake out station 0 plus 20. And um, if needed in our form, we can add in a horizontal, vertical, and station construction offset. So um, we could populate that just by arrowing down or tabbing down to those values and, and enter in what we need there. We'll hit start. And now we can stake that position, that station and offset position. I'll get somewhat close here. All right, let's hit measure and measure this station and offset. Store that measurement. We have our same uh, confirmation page here for the stake deltas. And now we'll hit store. What happens is it brings you right back to where you were prior to initiating the measurement. So we could hit station plus down at the bottom, station minus down at the bottom. Um, if we want to back out by hitting escape, we can arrow down to offset and type in another manual offset if necessary. Or if we go up to string and we hit the right arrow and we pick, for example, edge of concrete to the right, and we want to just start staking our nodes on um, on our road here. Uh, we can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and hit start. Navigate to that location. Let's measure up. Store store as stake deltas and again brings you just right back to where you were prior to hitting measure and um, and we can hit station minus station plus uh, soft keys at the bottom of the screen or if you have a keypad uh, you could hit the up arrow to advance forward along the alignment backward or down arrow to go backward along the alignment you could go to the left or you could go to the right so making it very easy to go from station offset to station offset. Just forward, backward, left, right. So I'll navigate to this position here, which is my back of curb. Measure. Store, store, and then hit the forward button or the up arrow on my keypad. I'll do this one last station offset here, move on to the next item. Okay, so I'm going to hit escape. And the next stake method here in our list is to nearest string. And so this is very nice if you have a lot of a lot of strings in your road and you want to just stake out to the string that is nearest to your position. Um, again, we can arrow down, we can put in a horizontal and vertical construction offset. And be aware that there's a options button at the bottom to allow us to um, apply that horizontal and vertical construction offset in a specific way. Um, so if we want that to be um, adjusted to a slope, a previous slope or a next slope, uh, as defined in our template, we could do that. Otherwise, it'll uh, by default be adjusted or applied um, using just a straight horizontal offset. Um, 
Likewise, with our vertical, we could do a perpendicular or a vertical construction offset. So I'm gonna hit accept there and hit start. And this will stake to the nearest string to my position. So as I move in closer to the road, you'll see in the top right corner, it changes from string EOC, edge of concrete. As I move closer to the center line, now I'm closest to, to the center line. And it's telling me my station offset cut fill uh, to that center line. As I move across the road here, closer to the other edge of concrete, it just picks that up automatically. Okay, and so we can uh, get right on our edge of concrete here, measure, and store this. And we can see uh, the design data here um, for edge of concrete to the string was the method essentially uh, just doing that more automated in a sense where it's going to tell you your your station offset cut fill relative to the nearest string to your position okay so that's what i have to show you here for now uh, again this was version 2022.00 um, essentially bringing uh, bringing that traditional menu selection format and graphical format together. Um, just remember you can use your form on the right hand side to pick um, and, and to type in your string offset, station, uh, construction offsets, or you can use the map graphical display to pick those items as well. So I'm just picking from the map here right now um, the string or the station offset that I want to stake to. So we have both kind of integrated together here with a split screen in the roads module. Um, so hopefully you found this beneficial and will join us again for the next video.